morning. We are late today because on our way home from the gym, the road was closed because somebody decided that parking in a ditch against the <laughs> telephone pole was a good option. Right. I guess technically not really parking in a ditch. Parking across, across the, the ditch. ditch. Yeah. <laughs> the car was level, but the ditch was, you know, a problem. Oh, it's a little crazy. bit snowy here. The roads are a little slick, and uh, they obviously came around the corner a little too fast and then overcorrected. And it was a ended, mess. Yeah, ended up in a ditch. Yeah. But we're here now, finally. We are. Yes, so that's good. we're ready to go. Everything's working in theory. It's all good. It's all good. How was your workout? Workout was good. Um, today was legs. I saw you doing a bazillion sets of leg press. Yeah, I was working the jaw muscles a little bit today, too. You were. I heard yeah. you talking about but plants. Somebody was asking about you know um, nutrition and whole food plant-based diet, and as we always said, we're always willing to share. Yep. So, well, that's um, good. You know, spend some time doing that. <laughs> good. Yeah, it was good. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, um, how many sets did you end up doing? I heard you tell that guy when you'd done a whole bunch, you asked how many. You said I had five more. I said maximum five, and I wound up doing five. So, okay. yeah. Um, yeah, I did, what, 13 sets of leg presses? Which is your norm. That's about my normal, yeah. Okay. You know, so that, and then I did some squats because somebody was on a hack squat. So I'd squat. I only did three sets of squats, so that was enough. Okay. Yeah, and then my usual to finish out. Good. Okay. I did arms today. Yeah. Um, my, uh, my shoulder is doing better. I'm very pleased. I was able to do yeah. biceps today without my shoulder That's aching, good. so you that was really that. nice. Yeah. yeah. That to me. That's good. Glad yeah. To hear so that. I'm pleased about that. Mm. And um, yeah, so that's good. What are you having for breakfast? I'm having oatmeal, uh, usual stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I'm going to have, um, I started my oatmeal before, before we left today, and it looks like it's ready to eat, so that's, that's good. I'm pleased with that. So I'll have yeah all the normal stuff as well for my oatmeal. So I'm happy about that. Um, I wanted to talk today a little bit about why eating whole foods, both the science and our experience, works better than dieting. Oh yeah. So um, way back we told you guys that prior to starting whole food plant based, Russ and I were on a superhero diet. <laughs> Don't look it up. We made we made it up. Oh, sorry. It doesn't actually exist. But it was a diet that we felt like people who were going to play a superhero on TV might be on. Right. Now, keep in mind, we were healthy eaters anyway. Right. Like, we didn't eat beef. We ate chicken. We ate chicken, fish. We turkey. ate turkey. Yeah. Um, and so we, were, we ate really well mm -hmm. uh, as far as the standard American diet goes anyway. But then we decided to um, go on the superhero diet, which right. meant, you know, we were trying to cut portions and we were trying to eat cleaner and we were trying to eliminate sauces and we did that for probably two months right and summer was coming and we wanted to look good for summer so yeah right I mean, so that we started that probably in march april of last year right and we had zero results <laughs> zero we might have gained a little weight i mean none <laughs> it was so sad like yeah. and it was so frustrating for me to you know to get on the scale and be trying to be working so hard and feel like i was depriving myself and to have absolutely no results right so that was super sad. And I know I talk to a lot of people now who say they have the same kind of situation where they feel like they are on a diet. They're trying to watch their portions. They're trying to be careful what they eat. They're depriving themselves of food that they want to have. Mm -hmm. And then they're not getting any results. Correct. So then in May, I think May, late May, we watched Forks Over Knives. Mm -hmm. And that for us was the turning point. That's right. Yeah. And so... Then we decided, okay, we're going to go whole food plant-based. And then in, we did that for June, and we started losing weight pretty steadily, right. which was shocking because we weren't, we weren't hungry. We weren't depriving ourselves. We were eating a lot of food. We were I eating mean, a lot of food. Yeah. And we didn't go cold turkey. You know, we transitioned. Right. You know, we ate the food we had in the house. Right. And so we just started adding. Like we encourage you guys to do, we started adding more plants. We didn't right. just say we're not going to do any more meat, period. Good morning, David. Good to see you. Hey, David. Um, and so we started losing weight, and, and pretty steadily, I think. Yeah. And then we added the intermittent fasting in July because right. we watched Eat Fast, Live Longer, right. and I read the book, um, The Complete Guide to Fasting. Right. I had to think about that title, The Complete Guide to Fasting, which I'm going to read again, I think, here soon. And... In 10 weeks, we both lost 15 pounds. And then right. since then, we've lost an additional five, and we're both kind of at our ideal weight now. And here, here's why. So I'm, I'm reading, as you guys know, I'm reading The Starch Solution. And I wanted to share with you that he makes the point very staunchly, because we've said he's very staunch yes. about his opinions right. um, or his, his science. His it's facts. not even his science. Yeah. His, his science. So he says, 
starch fills you up and it's satisfying. And that's why it works better than a diet because right. you're not taking in a ton of calories because starch doesn't have a ton of calories in it, but it's got a lot of bulk and it takes your body time to process it, which means that you feel satisfied for longer. And so the human body is genetically designed to eat starch. Like right. we have the, our, the enzymes in our saliva is, are designed to break down starch. Mm -hmm. And so you can eat it and eat a lot of it and not, not have a real problem with it. And he, he makes the point that the human body will store up to two pounds of starch invisibly in muscles and liver as glycogen. So whereas if you eat fat or processed foods, your body stores it as fat. Like mm -hmm. he says a lot of times the fat you eat is the fat you wear. Mm. And so your body stores fat as fat. But if you eat starch, it stores it as glycogen. Right. And so it's, I mean, which is got, energy. Right, which is energy and yeah. easily accessible when mm -hmm. you go. And so they make the point that starch is get burned as energy uh, to keep you warm, to keep you moving, because it's being stored in places where it's easy to access. Mm -hmm. So the point being is that starch is, is low calorie, high volume, which we've talked about the benefits of that before. Right. And then it, it doesn't store it as fat, which is hard to burn. Fat right. is harder to break down. It stores it as glycogen in your in your muscles and your liver so that you can access it. So I know I keep telling you that we need to eat more starch, that if, if you do nothing else, add more starch to your diet. And when I say starch, I'm talking about potatoes, rice, um, sweet potatoes, even, beans. Even says whole wheat, you know, whole wheat whole pasta. Wheat, whole wheat pasta, whole wheat bread. Right. Yeah. So I know that we have this culture where we're afraid of carbs. Mm -hmm. We've got to overcome that. We've got to overcome that misnomer. I think corn's a starch too, isn't yep, it? Yeah, he mentions he corn. So we eat four, four cups of corn a day. <laughs> that's, a lot, that's a lot of corn. I would just say add mm -hmm. anything. I bought popcorn today. He did, he did <laughs> buy popcorn today. So, you know, the, the, the reason that it's easier to eat plants and get to your ideal weight is because, and this was our experience as well, yeah. you feel full. It's yeah. just... You're eating, you're eating food, and your taste buds change to where, like, even just a plain baked potato is really yummy. Well, I mean, I mean, cashews. Everybody knows cashews are sweet, but I mean, they are really sweet now. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like eating candy. It's ridiculous. It's really, they're really, really good. Yeah. So, I I told you yesterday. I'm gonna say it again. Add some starch to your diet, even if you change nothing else. Right. If you change absolutely nothing else, add starch, and eat it first. I was just gonna say. That. You got, you got that one. Yeah. Eat it first because yeah. it, the high volume of it will fill up your stomach and it, it'll push the other stuff off of your plate, right. which I think is, is, kind of, is the ideal and it'll really help you um, reduce your weight. I was going to do that. The tea is almost hot enough to whistle at us, <laughs> the hot water. Right. So that's, that's my, my feedback for today on why I think it works better, why the science says it works better. And why? And it's super easy. Right. And why I'm running around all over the place with energy. Because it's being stored and being used. Yep, makes exactly. Sense. And he was sense. telling somebody in the gym today right. that you know it, he has so much energy. Right. And this is the person that was dragging, and he's like, you can see, he just feels like the world, the weight of the world is on him. He's in the gym, but he's exhausted. And he's looking at me, and I'm like, zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's do this. Let's do that. You know? And he's like, what's going on over here? <laughs> yep. And the other, the other thing too, I think that I really wanna, I wanna point out is that I'm not here to tell you how to eat. No. I'm here to give you information. And if you want to use it, great. And if you don't, then, you know, that's fine too. Right. So, yeah, like Laura said, you're not feeling deprived, which is, is the point. You're, you want to be able to, to feel full. And that you can't fool hunger. That is the bottom right. line. Your body will tell you you're hungry, and you can maybe put it off, but you cannot fool it. Right. And she's also making another good point about taste change. So yep. we're conditioned right now to think that animal products taste good and, and sugar Heavy doses of sugar taste good. Mm -hmm. When you when you start going more whole food plant based, your taste buds change, and you find sugar the taste of sugar and the satisfaction super sweet. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was just going to say that in other products you wouldn't realize how sweet they are, like a yam. Bake a yam and don't put anything on it. It's like eating candy. Yeah, it's really you good. Know? It's just it's unbelievable. So that's our uh, our feedback for today. That's I'm, it. I'm going to keep talking about starch till you guys start adding starch right. to your diets because it's good for you. And uh, we're going to overcome our fear of carbs as a as a nation. If That's I have right. to, if I have to do it one person at a time. <laughs> That's right. Like, like you know, like you saw in that article, it says 2018 is going to be the year of the whole food plant 
plant-based diet. It's it's coming. I got I was interviewed by a magazine this week, yeah. um, interested in whole food and how we add real food to our diet. Right. So very good. That should be coming out in the next month or so. I'll let you guys know when it does. And excitingly, my classes start again today. That's so right. I have classes to take again. So yes, I'll have do. more to share about that. Absolutely. So that's all I've got. What do you have? Um, that's it. That's all, folks. That's all I got for today. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> and so with that, we will say eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great we'll day. See you guys. tomorrow.